Dimitro Povorotny is a priest from Dnipro. In his youth, he served in the airborne troops, and when the war started in 2014, he was one of the first ones to come to the recruitment station. He became the chaplain of the 20th Territorial Defense Battalion. The problems are very different. People are bothered, first of all, by moral problems, meaning the war and the actions they had to perform during the hostilities, all the shooting and the necessity to execute orders. Some had family problems as well. Soldiers did not take the chaplain seriously at first and did not trust him for a while either. Before we were sent to Mariupol for the first time on May 9th, he was praying a lot for us. We were all lined up and he sprinkled us with water and did all this other magical mumbo-jumbo. In Mariupol, the 20th Battalion was defending city police department and two soldiers were killed in combat. Some soldiers chose to believe that surviving was indeed possible due to the prayers of the chaplain. I told him that according to the situation that was happening there, we all should have been dead. We lost only two men just because of him throwing some consecrated water at us. Maybe they were just not hit with that water. This is when guys came to accept him. Verkhnitorytske, Krasnohorivka, Luhanske are just a part of the long list of hot spots along the front line where Reverend Metro performed religious rites. <laughs> The chaplain blessed soldiers before the battle. He also baptized 10 men and brought aid collected by volunteers in Dnipro every week. That's all yours. When I see him get out of the car and guys see that Father Dmitro came, for me it's like Michael Jackson coming from the heavens. It's like Father Dmitro has a fan club. The way he talks to our guys, those vibes are amazing. Chaplin helps civilians that are caught in the crossfire along the front line as well. In 2015, Father Dmitro had to evacuate the bodies of killed Ukrainian soldiers. He went to the militants just with one driver and with no weapons or armor. Russian propaganda showed the video of him coming to pick up the bodies. The bodies were covered with a flag. They made it look like that on purpose. They piled the bodies and put the flag over them. Dmitro served as a chaplain for a year. After he was released from duty, he did not abandon his men on the front lines and regularly comes to help them. He is also a rector of the church that was built specifically for the Dnipro 1 battalion. All the soldiers who died were from different regions of Ukraine. This really shows the unity of our land. We are fighting for the country. We are fighting for our own land. Father Dmitro had to see the funerals of many soldiers. Even five years after the war, he recognized the faces of the men he knew and buried. Oleksandr Zavgorodny served in the 39th Territorial Defense Battalion. He died at a checkpoint from a detonation of a bus rigged with explosives. In the charge devoted to the fallen soldiers, Father Dmitro lights a candle to honor the memory of the deceased. Reported by Natalia Husak, UATV.